<sighs> so, three one on penalties. Um, Stockport lost three one. Nil uh, nil from uh, ninety minutes might be a bit of a and if he won for a lot, of, a lot of fans there, do we think it was bad? You could probably see it as being bad, losing. Oh, sorry, try drawing to a league, a league two side that's just come up from the national league. But you've got to think positive. We won the game. The way I see it is, yes, it, it we didn't score, but we got through in the end. We moved forward, and we kind of. I don't know. I'm just trying to look optimistic, to be honest. Uh, what people are saying. <laughs> Rogers out. That was painful. Um, he must go. Rogers out. KDA Pen was good. I wish I could see. Hopefully, the other highlights will be up tonight, or if they are any. Um, Leicester are in are in trouble if we can't score in a game like that, Brendan out. Rogers out. Good to say by Everson. Only worth seeing the mention. How we drew into a League Two side. I guess positives. There are none. We won in the end, I guess. <laughs> you've got to you've got to think, uh Ben, Rogers out. There's a, there's so many people now. Should we be in a League Two side probably not enough. I think for me, I'll say my thoughts. I again it's not the greatest that we've not scored in 90 minutes against a League 2 side, but you've got to... F- the team. The team's not played together. That team there, yes, there was some that you probably would think you'd won in the first team, but a lot of them players have only just came in. They've have not played any, any football this season. And you've got to move forward to the win, I guess. And... I'm probably the only one that wants to keep Rogers in the job at the moment because I still think he can change it around. But there's so many different points to it for me. Um, sack him. If we can't break down Stockport, how can we break down Chelsea? It's classic Leicester for doing that. Rogers out. Perez, man of the match. Rogers out. Mick Hewitt. Rogers needs to be sacking tonight. Players are not playing for him. Massive win. Kickstart. What oh, a legend. Go on, Keith. Go on, Keith. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rogers out. Thank God the keeper, the goalkeeper. Again, Iverson. Did he improve? Did he change us? Does he start for, against Chelsea? I maybe would even say give him a chance. I would anyway. Um, not good enough. I know you want to keep positive, really, and respect that, but surely even you're embarrassed. I wouldn't say embarrassed. Again, it's not the greatest that we've not scored against them, but I, I said to Tom at half time, teams like these just non league sides or League Two sides, they're going to part the bus. They are going to try and bust their. I'm not going to say the word because it's just not right, but. They're going to kill themselves to try and win every single ball. If if it was a championship side, then I'd probably say we've got more... We've got more... I don't know. I really do think that a League 2 side is going to be a harder to play against than a championship side for me. Embarrassing that with that tippy tippy manager get on. Um... These league, these games are always banana skins, no matter what. Making ten changes to them, exactly, Jason Mills. I think that's true. It's always going to be banana skin. You're putting a lot of players and get obviously with the substitutes that we brought on in the 70th minute going forward. Making ten changes is never going to be easy. And but the reality is, we should have enough. Yes, we should, the team we had out should have been enough to score goals. Yes, but ten players in the squad. He's barely played a minute of football this season. For me, he's always going to be hard. And against the League 2 side, that will will push themselves to try and win the game. To move forward in the Cup, of course they're going to. Um, 
give him till Christmas, no improvements, then he must go. I probably would back that, I guess. Why wasn't George Hurst playing? Does he even play for us at the moment? I'm not too sure. I didn't know that. Um, I don't mind a performance that bad. Um, I'm winning on pens, but everything else surrounding the club at the moment makes it worse. Again, for me, yes, it's not the greatest of scorelines to have, but again, we've won. We've won a game. That is kind of a good thing for me. Um, Greedy, you make excuses, mate. What excuses? I've said the team that we had out today should probably could have, probably should have won it. But ten different players in the squad. If that was how many we had in there, people are more expecting more than what we got out there. I guess it's a strong team, yes. But Yuri costs more than the whole club combined. Shambles, Rogers out. Cheers, Jake. Um, that costs. That team got some hundred million pounds. Not making excuses for them. I'm not. You've got yeah. I'm, I'm trying to say it in words. Like we've got the win again. It was nil nil. Yes, but the way people are saying it, it's like you wanted to absolutely smash them. You wanted to actually smash them. Um. Yeah, people were saying we have to kind of smash them. No, uh, if we won one nil in the last second, I would take it. It's it's it's. I wouldn't say it's improving, but it's going forward. It's a lot better. Um, any positives? We get to clean sheet. Another good thing, I guess. Uh, there's only fifty percent playing, and the rest of them don't care. It's all opinions, really. Rather than outstanding, I guess. Again, do you play him against Chelsea? Maybe I would. I'm not too sure. Um, we played well. That was stop. What was final? Yes, we should have done nine in ninety minutes. But you have to give that what credit. Yeah, there's there's so many points in the game, and as much as you you think we should have beat them in ninety minutes, we still won it. Either way, we still got the same result, and we had a lot worse of a team out than we. I think we would. Um, Jamie wants the link. Let me get it in. Um, fans need to stop with the top 10 delusional face reality survival, I guess. I, I, I don't think we're going to get top eight. I don't think that's true. But it's just about... Mm, there's just so many different areas about it, I guess. <laughs> really reminds me of Arsenal fan TV today. <laughs> Jamie makes sense. Me? I'll take that. I'll, I'll make sense. I'll get that. Um, it isn't about winning. It's about taking 30 million, 300 million pounds to a League Two side and smashing them off the puck. Is it though? I don't... F I feel like we're kind of... Again, we're overdoing it there. I honestly don't think it's that bad of a result tonight. We won the game. We, the same, the same outcome is we've won. You, I don't think you're expecting to win ten nil every against these sort of teams. They're going to play off the plot to try and beat us, and they just couldn't in the end. Uh, had three and a half years, I guess. <laughs> Cannot fold on unit mil. To, for relegation, Reedy, you don't make sense. <laughs> and replace him with who? The only person I'll replace him with is. Right, okay. Here we go then. I'll put the link in the chat. If anyone wants to join, I'll get, I'll get you on if you've got a camera and you talk. Um, I want your thoughts because, again, most people on here at the moment are Rogers out, and I'm trying to be. I'm not seeing on the fence, but I'd like. I want to give him a chance. I want to give him the time to change around. Because again, for me, it's only three games in. It's only the first round of the cup. We need a bit more. Really, I know you're Rogers in, but how? If he goes, who would you take? I've said the only person I'd take is Rogers. Uh, is um, Pochettino. He's not got a job at the moment, and with the money that Rogers is getting paid, does he come in? I don't know. He won't come, probably not. But 
you are sitting on the fence. I'm not, because I'm still Rogers in. I'm just saying that the amount of people that, for me, are over over exaggerating the situation. Oh, it's absolutely shit the bed. It's all this. It's all that. No, for me, it's three games in. One being Arsenal. Brentford isn't isn't an easy team to beat. And the only re- and Southampton, yes, I must admit, that was a very poor game to lose. But partly that was not Rogers' fault. That was partly partly the players not playing after we score. Um, Ben, please join. I want to hear your thoughts. I don't want it to be a rant or <laughs> I don't want it to be a rant or anything. It's just getting people's thoughts because for me, I'm seeing very different to what people are saying. Why wouldn't he? What? Why would he who? Why wouldn't Pochettino come? Um, struggling, at, struggling at the League Two side. Great win. Go on, hashtag. You know what you're talking about. Um, were you there? If you're there, let me know. What was your thoughts? Again, people are saying we, we couldn't beat them in no in. 90 minutes. We still got the win. Still got the same um, result in the end. For me, it's a good move going forward. Uh, sorry, mate. I think that's sad if you think that performance was acceptable. You, I won't say it's acceptable, but like, we still got the same result in the end. Even if we beat them 5-0, I think everyone... No, it did not go. Okay, well, we still got a good result in the end. Um... It's been shite since since for ages. I wouldn't say shite, but hey ho. I'm just I'm just trying to be on the positive side, I guess. Uh, Jason Bateman, BBC Radio, hit that on the head. Rogers days are numbered. A win is a win. A win is a win. I'm not I'm not even trying to like. I'm not even trying to be that person who's just trying to confront, confront everyone and say, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Everyone has a point. Everyone has, has a view. I just... <laughs> Come on, Jamie. Really, is killing me. <laughs> oh. Hello, Ben. How are you, mate? Are you all right? I'm good. How are you? Well, that's Don't ask. a question, but... First of all, we will say, what is your thoughts at the moment? Are you Rogers in or Rogers out? Uh, I think everyone's pretty knows where I stand. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much out. Uh, well, I've been out for quite a while now. I don't think uh, I was, for the last 18 months, I think we've gone backwards. I think it's uh, backwards, tippy tappy football's not working. The chucking the points away from winning positions is not good enough. I just think we need new eyes on the squad because it doesn't like the down and tools. I guess. Obviously, I'm not there, but from what I looked at, you could see, there's, yes, there's no goals, but it's still the same result in my eyes. I'm, I'm not trying to be the person who's saying everything's hunky-dory and positive, but it's a win. We've got to move forward and it's a start, I guess, surely. I suppose if they're positive, it's a, we might get Forest in the next round. Why did they? Or Derby. Why? They both lost or? They both won, didn't they? So if, 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 there's a chance we can get Forest or Derby. Oh, and... well, if we say this, uh, if we said there was no chance of getting them. Um, but, okay. Well, at least you know your thoughts, I guess, on the Rogers out situation. Ben, thank you for coming in. I think we've got Sorry, a big guest you. coming in, mate. We've got a big guest coming in. Here he comes. Hello, mate. <laughs> what, an, what, an, what an absolute what time is it about there 10 past 10 I tell you what what an absolute <laughs> fucking disgrace that was 15 internationals in that match day squad and they have to take Stockport to penalties nil nil 15 internationals what's going on reader I don't care I know we're not going to win 10 nil every fucking game but at least we need a comfortable game a comfortable win. Forest won comfortably, 3-0. Brentford won comfortably, 2-0. Palace won comfortably, 2-0. Against lower league opposition. We are, we are absolutely shocking. I know we won on penalties. 
I know we won. We're no, no, I don't count. mean penalties. I'm saying, did all these other teams put a kind of a strong team out? For me, yes, no, the they team made, put out. They all made changes. They all made changes to the squad. They all made changes to that team. We had 15 internationals, really. I know we, you said earlier we expected us to win 10-0. No, I expected a more comfortable game than a 0-0 against Stockport. Surely, yes, again, I'm going to say this, and you're not going to, you're, you're going to absolutely throttle me for this. Saying, yes. The possession, the stats, the shots on goal, we thought, what, we had about 25 shots. Possession, <laughs> really. Get... Possession doesn't win you games. Goals do. No matter how much possession, you've got to get that ball in the back of the net. We can't do it. We don't do it. This passing around at the back, this tippy-tappy fucking football, doesn't work for Leicester. We haven't got the players. It's shown tonight our second strength squad is not good enough. And if it's not good enough to beat Stockport comfortably, 2 or 3 nil, like Forest have done, like Palace have done, Wolves beat Preston with a depleted side, Brentford won, who else won? Everton won. Villa won against a depleted, and they made changes. We played lower team. We struggled to beat Stockport that came up from the conference last year. As good as Stockport were, we should have won more comfortably than a penalty, a 3-1 penalty shootout. I've got a comment from you, mate, mate. And when will here we come? <laughs> Who's that? I can't say it's on my phone. It's hashtag... <laughs> Oh, John Squire, what's he say? Hash, it says Wembley, here we come, mate. If, when, if we get to Wembley, <laughs> fair enough, hashtag. But I honestly can't say to the minute, the way we're playing, that, that game has probably kept him in just because we've won on penalties. Still for me, pal, Roger's out. There is nothing there. There is absolutely nothing there. I, I, I do get everyone's frustrations about, again, we've not gotten goals in 90 minutes and maybe so. But for me, the way I see it is we've got the same result as if we did we did score five against them in, in 90 minutes. We still got the win. And for me, we that's kind win. of a good nil, nil. How can you say, just because we won on penalties, how can you say it's the same result if we won 0-0, nil, nil, uh, if we won 5-0? We still won the game and we still progress and we still kind of... I'm just saying that... if OK, then. Here's a question for you. If you sack Rogers tonight... Does this change all these issues that we've got? I don't think it does. Does this change all issues? It's called, like when you get new players, it's called uh, the bounce back ability, the, the enjoyment. People love new signings coming in. You get the manager bounce straight away as it comes in. You need that confidence. We're lacking. We've got zero confidence tonight. Absolutely zero confidence at the minute. Just because we've been top four, all the people that are watching this, does that mean we've got 100% confidence going into the Chelsea? Because for me, no, we haven't. We've still got zero confidence. Going in a nil-nil game against one of your biggest games of the season? Nah. So, mate, it's seriously wrong behind the scenes, mate. Seriously yeah, wrong. I, I, I will agree with that, but I'm just trying to say that I don't think it's all down to Rogers the reasons behind this and I don't think if we sack him it's going to completely change us we're going to start winning games galore I still think we're going to win games with Rodgers in charge I just again if we Rodgers had the players he could buy he, he, he did what he could to persuade players that he wanted to come in and then he got told he couldn't have anyone coming in until we sold players so he said how well what do you know unless you've spoke to Brendan and you have a cup of tea with him no, no, but he has said he has come out and said that he, he has come out and said that he has got play. He's persuaded players to come, and then he gets told that he can't bring them in without selling people. And then he gets to the point where we get rid of Casper. That's another issue. We've got rid of our best keeper. Is that Kasper, into it? Three days. He's meant to be a legend. Yes, totally hands up. Yes, he's a legend. He's left three days before the season. Three days before the season. If he's that kind of a legend, he's dropped us right in it at the start of the season. Yeah, I, I do get that as well. But there's just so many there's so many issues around the club at the moment. Really? I just don't think Pers Rogers personally, is the you've got to take them blue tinted glasses off, mate, and smell the roses. Because we're just not good enough. Our B team is not good enough to beat Stockport on a Tuesday night, Edgley Park, in a League Cup game. 
Would you Bellum. say the same about the the new? Is it the Newport Newport County that we played? Was it then? That we played a few Newport years back. Really, really we're playing like I said to you on Sunday. We're playing worse football than Piol uh, than Claude Piol, and I stuck up for him. I stuck up for him, and we're playing worse football. We're not playing better football. I don't care what he's got in the bank, what he's got back there, two top fives, FA Cup, top eight. We were lucky to get top eight yet last year. Give a look at the figures for this year, pal. This calendar year. Shocking. I think there's been like 33 games and we've won 11 out of the... We've won a third of the games. If that's a challenging... Okay. Here's one more question. Here's, here's one more question for you then. If we... If, okay, from now on then, if, if Rogers goes on a run, a, game, a run of games going like, not 10 games unbeaten, but you go five wins, two draws and three losses. Do you what, say, in the next 10 games? Yes. So what and, happens if the Chelsea and Man U game are the first two losses? Do What what happens there? Do you keep him and go, oh, give him to the Forest game, which is four games more? We could be in the I deep shit. It's, it's, it's a difficult one, and I just I don't know if I, I, I'm not saying he shouldn't go, but he, it's the point where does a does a change really make any difference? Yeah, I get I get what you're saying about it's a fresh start, it's a, it's a change, but it could be it could go even worse for us. You never know. It won't go. It can't get any worse, really. We're 19th in the table. Well, it could get worse. We could be 20th in the table. But 19th in the table, we've scraped through Stockport. Scraped just. Just to really listen to that, we've scraped through against Stockport that were non-league footballers last year. Non-league, we've scraped through against an ex against six months ago. We're playing non-league football. Yes, we won on penalties, but we've scraped through. Yes, we're through to the next round, but we've scraped through. It's not good enough. It isn't good enough, pal. <sighs> I understand what everyone's saying. I just, I don't know. My head's just, I don't know. My head's always thinking. Your head forward, is behind some blue tinted glasses, pal. It's not, it's not behind blue tinted. It's just, I'm trying to look more positive, saying that, like, we've, we've got through. It's, it's, a, it's a step forward. We, we've, That's the only positive. We got through. But we scraped through against I know what you mean. I know what I mean. Six months um, ago, they were playing National League football. Come on, only we're only three games in. Uh, someone says. What about, the 30, what about the thirty-eight last year, when we were shocking last year? The thirty-eight. Uh, I, I I honestly don't think last season was that bad. I said I said in the no, wait I said in the office the two seasons where we no oh, and you you're gonna go and say what you don't need to care about that that season before the two seasons where we finished fifth we had worse defeats to teams. We lost to Everton at times. We lost to, I think we lost to Norwich. We nearly lost to Norwich at that game in that season. We lost, we lost one nil to Norwich away from home. Who's that? Norwich. We lost to one nil to Norwich. That's what I'm saying. And we still, we still can pull, come back. And there's certain areas where last, okay, last season, I say about Arsenal all the time. Arsenal were three games down last season without a win. We, so they, you're expecting us to do an Arsenal? I, I'm just saying it's not, it's not, it's not like we're going to lose every game going forward now. No, it's for that bottle for that. It's the bottle for that. Um, <laughs> I forgot. That. Sorry. Um, I'm saying it, it's not. We're not going to lose every single game going forward. For me. But we've got to, we've got Chelsea and Man U the next two games. How much I is mean, our confidence? How I much have, is our confidence? And I have got every confidence in Leicester actually winning one of them games. I don't know why. It's Leicester. But tonight, I was following it on Twitter. I was following it on Sky Sports News because there wasn't a stream for it. <laughs> Embarrassing when you can't, when you can't beat a lower league team. Comfortably, not saying 10 0, but 2 or 3 0 to give you that confidence winning when you have to go to penalties. That don't give you confidence going into Chelsea, I guess. But really, you've got to take glasses off, pal. And look, it is, it is the post match show, I guess. 
The end score was 0-0. 3-1 <laughs> on penalties. That's Jamie's thoughts. Everyone's probably about the same as you now, mate. I'm just... I'm trying to be on the opposite side because no someone needs to be... I know Matt, I know Matt has missed a penalty, but who missed the other one? Um... Matt has missed the second. Perez. Perez. Who? Perez. He scored it, apparently. There you go. No confidence in the team. No confidence in the team. But, but anyway, I'm going to go. And yes. then, uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow, read it. Have fun. Enjoy Be good. Um, Enjoy yourself. Cheers, mate. Uh, really, you say Roger's out last season. Why you change your mind? The only reason I said that was at the point of where we were absolutely dying and I don't think it's anywhere near that at the moment. We were literally getting battered by Chelsea because of the situation we were in. We're losing games, we're doing this, we're doing that. You might say it's the same situation as this. I don't think it's as bad. It's not all down to that man. Players are just not fighting anymore. The Southampton game. He literally, the moment we scored, the players stopped fighting. If they still did what they did in that game, they was we probably would have won that game. What did what what did Rogers do to lose that game? He didn't do anything to lose that game. He didn't change anything in a, a negative way. He, if anything, for me, he changed to make it a positive. He put two players up front instead of Vardy, who had barely had any chance. Well, that's what people are going to say, but that's going to be it. 3-1 on penalties, 0-0. It's some positive, I guess, but we move forward into the Chelsea game on Saturday. Appreciate you all coming on, and we'll catch you all when we beat Chelsea. Let's go!